time for another paint party. It's been quite a while. I've been working hard on a painting that had a lot of traditional painting techniques involved with it. Uh, one of my, uh, the second edition of my Bountiful Blossoms series I'm going to be doing. Um, it's done now though, and I took a few days of rest, and now I'm ready to get back to it. So we're going to be doing a beach scene today, uh, the second time I have done one of those. So this is a series as well, uh, but this time it's going to be on a 16 inch by 20 inch, and the last one was a 12 by 16 inch. Uh, that one has already been sold, um, and so it's time to get another one in inventory. Um, I will be providing you with the paints that I am using uh, in the description area of this video if you want to go there and check it out if you're interested in those. I will be doing a dirty cup pour for the sand portion and then letting that dry. Uh, for a little bit before doing the water portion because I don't want the two to um, intermingle and mix together. So uh, it will be allowed to gel a little bit. I've already uh, attempted this once today. Um, so this is my second attempt. Uh, if you watch me, you know that I'm, I'm pretty particular. Uh, so it, it's, you know, it's got to be something of that I'm really proud of before I'm going to stop. So, um, hopefully this one will fit the bill and we'll have a beautiful painting that I am happy to release as um, my work to you um, when we are finished with this video. <laughs> um I have done a lot of mixing and I'm ready to get started, so let's party!
liking this part right here too much. So I'm going to um, pour a little bit more in my cup and pour into this area right here because it's, it's much too solid looking compared to this. Uh, so we've got to add some, some more dimension into this area. It's just uh, way too plain compared to this. <laughs> Still not liking that it's just not uh, if this was on this side I could just pour it off but not no such luck and I really don't want to get rid of this part I kind of like it but I'm gonna have to do something here it's a bit too much paint anyway so and I'm already out of this one the lighter shade that I had, the lightest shade, which is a titanium uh, unbleached, I believe. I'm gonna have to try something else. Well, I decided to uh, go ahead and scrape off part of that, the part I didn't like, and I mixed up some more paint, and we're going to pour some more right in here and uh, redo this. Hope, hopefully, th it isn't going to screw up because I left this on. We'll see. Um, you just don't know about what's going to happen until you do it.
that's not a big deal because the, the water is going to be coming down on this. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I'm going to let this dry some and then I'm going to come back and we'll do the water part. Okay, guys, I'm back. I don't know if you can tell or not, but um, I did quite a bit of tilting on this uh, while it was drying. <laughs> Um, I'm ready to get started on the, the water now, and I will point out that you have to be careful with the tilting. You can also ruin a painting, <laughs> tilting too much. Um, that's why it's important to go slow, keep your eye on what's happening. Given that I did so much tilting, uh, my paint has become a lot thinner than it was. Now, my last painting that I did of a, the beach, my, my paint ended up being really thick on the canvas uh, when I was finished. And that the only issue with that was that um, it took a long time to dry, and then I had to put quite a few coats of sealant on it in order to make it look good. Um, it still kept, uh, you know, it still looked textured, which was not a big deal. Um, my cat's come in and decided to give her two cents. I hope you guys are okay with that. <laughs> I put her outside, but she didn't stay out there very long. Um, she, uh, there's nothing going on. It's, it's, um, quarter till 2 a.m. <laughs> so there's nobody out there. So I guess she got bored. Uh, anyway, we're not bored here. We got lots going on um, and she will calm down and she won't be bothering us anymore. And I will have music on during um, while I'm doing this anyway. So let's quit talking and get to painting.
okay i'm uh just trying to evaluate what i want to do next if, if i'm going to leave it uh or if i'm going to continue to work on it um right now i'm beginning to think i need to to add some more white i hate to uh, because i love the the blue uh, the water part but it, i think it needs a little more white uh, i put so much right here that it makes the rest look scant, especially right in here. So I'm gonna need more white and I've got to actually mix up more to do that. Um, and I'm thinking that I might need to put a little right here to break that up and maybe just a little teeny right there. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I will have to think about that and, uh, again because um, I just don't know that I want to put some more white over there and take a chance of putting too much. Uh, but I'm going to pause this and mix up some more white real quick and I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. Now I'm going to start on just the, uh, the water's edge and then make a decision on whether I'm gonna add any other. Um, I just don't wanna to add too much white this time. Last time I think I put way too much white and I don't wanna overdo it this time. So let's get at it.
evaluating again. Uh, so far, I think I'm not going to put any more white. I think I'm going to stop with that. I'm wishing that I could put some more color right in here because we have some color here all along this a little bit and hardly any here. But trying to do that and not totally screw it up <laughs> uh, might be a little tricky. I don't know how I'm going to manage that. Um, I'm going to turn this off for a second uh, and give it some thought. I'll be back. Okay, I stuck my finger in some of the paint that's over on, you know, on the pad and drug it along in just the points in these two places. And that looks okay. So I think I'm going to try it in a few more, you know, down through here and I'll let you watch me <laughs> this time. Um, I hope it, I'm not going to screw it up, but I think that just that little bit I added um, makes it look better. Uh, you, you, we just need some some contrast uh, with this white. I'm going to stop there. I think that's that's going to have to do. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. I hope you guys like it. I've worked really hard on it. <laughs> um, there's a part of me that still thinks maybe I need to put a little more white in it, but I'm, I'm going to leave it. Um, I think it's pretty and uh, that's going to that's going to do it for today. I will see you again soon, probably for a showcase. I uh, have several things that are almost ready, so uh, putting those up for you real soon. I got to give you a close-up. I'm getting in a hurry here. Let's do a close-up. I'm trying not to get too much glare and too much reflection. The last time that I did a beach scene like this. I did not do um, a Dutch pour with the water. I did not blow out my blue with a blow dryer. So that is different. I'm really happy with how the sand turned out. I think that turned out really good. The water is uh, a lot different than uh, the last one because of the fact that I did that. We got all this webbing through here 
and I think it's pretty cool. I think that's gonna make this, this piece stand out as completely different than the last one, but still very similar. I kind of like to do that, even, you know, with my series. I don't want them to be matchy-matchy. I want them to be similar, but different. And this definitely turned out that way. And see, the blue is just so cool, so pretty. That's why I just didn't want to put any more white on it. I think that that would ruin it, in my opinion. <laughs> but that's it. Sorry about that, guys. I touched a button. So I'm going to wrap it up. See you guys again soon. I'll be doing a showcase very soon. So I'll see you then. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, I just couldn't leave it alone. If you know me, <laughs> you know that's nothing unusual. But the water edge just did not look organic to me. Uh, so I got my straw and started blowing, blowing, blowing. And I really do think that that looks a lot better. It's not so, I don't know, it was so structured looking, not organic. So... Yes, it went, it got more into the sand, but it's, I think it looks better overall. So, hope you guys think so too. I just wanted to show you that. Now I'm going to take pictures. See you guys later. Bye.